forward to boys but it's here very similar to that there high cloud but the sun threatening to break through, which is kind of what you see over there. Hey, I hear him out. It's wild. It's wild what can happen in three years. to come back to. Clay is nice enough to let me have it all to myself. Very few mornings in my life where the ducks don't matter. Today is one of them. since this has happened, since we lost my dad. I don't come in this hole often, but like the year that, the year we lost him, I couldn't come in here at all. Look at the teal, holy cow. Oh my gosh, here, right here. I look right here. Oh. Where'd these things come from? <laughs> this is the wildest thing I've ever seen. What I was going to say is every time it seems like I come in here for this, like, I'm trying to run them out of here. Look right there. I'll catch up. Ducks ain't been here. I don't care what you say. I got trail cameras. I got one right there looking at it. These ducks ain't been here. But every time I come in here for this, we always, for whatever reason, call it divine intervention, call it whatever you want to. They always seem to show up. And it's just, it's wild. And what's even wilder is My dad's final meal on this earth was green winged teal, and we always kill teal on this day. It's just, it's, 
there's some things that are just weird, and this is one of those things. So, uh, we ain't had many ducks, period. So, as soon as I can reasonably see one, I will start shooting so I can kill that one. Got the Drake boys. Kill him. All right, let's get in that duck bar. You know, it's like it's his it's his day, it ain't my day. And uh I came in here this morning and I threw out the decoys by myself for him. I took the other guys to go shoot some wood ducks and I said we'd all just kinda converge on the hull. By the time I get back here, Martin and his daddy have shot. We got three mallard drakes and a gadwall. Three mallard drakes and a Kill him.
Mm. God, we come before you and we, we take a moment in silence. And when we get quiet, we hear the wood ducks flying. We hear the blackbirds. We hear the acorns fall in the water. God, we hear a lot of things that you, that you create and that we don't. And so we just come before you right now and we say thank you. Thank you for the life of Mr. Jerry Martin, how he could drive a tractor. <laughs> thank you, Lord, that I fell through the deck this week and I picked up the, uh, the top that he made for a dog cover and I put it over the deck and it's, it's keeping me from falling through again right now. His hands touched a lot of things and he could fix anything. And God, I just, I'm reminded of you. We, uh, we need you. We need you to fix our lives. We need you to fix our faults. We need you to show us what grace and mercy looks like, just like you did in your son, Christ. And so now, Lord, we lift up Mr. Jerry and his life to you. We know that he is, um, God, there's no question that life is a lot better with you. But, uh, God, we sometimes still miss him whenever he's not here. And so be with Miss Jolene right now. And uh, Lord, just help us to model your life so that those boys get to know him through us. Because uh, we fix things and we, um, we honor you and we respect you. We pray all this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Mission accomplished. Uh, Dad provided me some more. Every time I come in here, I kill Mallard Drakes for this. Uh -oh. There ain't been none around. And after that first little bit, there ain't been none since. You can look at it as well. You can look at it a hundred different times. I think the old man just throw you a bone every now and then. Thank you.